Hello, I'm David Yambio. I'm from South Sudan, but I currently live in Italy and I am an advocate with the Pact for Equality. I am fighting to erase uh, several types of discrimination. We have uh, social uh, discrimination, which is uh, greatly affecting our society as migrant and as refugee societies. Throughout Europe and in Italy where I live, we are consequently put away from society and we are excluded and this has to do with the social exclusion that we face. My experience as an activist, I have been doing a variety of things. First of all, tracing back to Libya where we started our movement and where I came out as an activist to advocate for the well-being of my community. The most effective way to get people engaged in this uh, Pact for Equality or as whole, uh, in my experience and in my opinion, is to find commonalities between the European common people and the migrant population. Because I cannot entirely believe that the discrimination that we face today is only for migrants or people coming from uh, non-European uh, countries, it's affecting the entire society. When we talk, for example, about exclusion, isolation, which has to do with discrimination, we see that it brings psychological problems. When people of a society face psychological issues, it does not entirely affect uh, the migrant community. It affects almost everybody in the region. And this is why I stress forward again that we have to find commonalities, we have to bring the age of reasoning to the society and present to them what we face, how does it affect them, and how can we make it a better society for everybody where we don't have to reaffirm and ask for recognition, something that should naturally and morally be ours. We can make our actions more impactful and lasting as activists in various ways. First of all, we have to understand properly our needs. We have to properly understand the wants and how to accommodate our needs, our wants, without having to, you know, to also in the process discriminate the existing infrastructure. And uh, again, many other ways in which we can have lasting and impactful uh, ways of advocacy as activists is to to invite people to put down recommendations on the things and on the values which we believe in as a diverse society and on the political spectrum in which society is able to function with all our needs and our wants. I will ask the next advocate that why have they chosen to, to become activists? Why are they here today particularly for the equality, the, 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 the pact on equality in Europe and around Europe. Today what I bring on the table on the Pact of Equality, first of all, is my existence, my experience and the perspective from which I have gained from those experiences. Even if adversity is a good teacher, it has very high price, the price of being separated from families. I bring this on the table because I wouldn't want any other person, any other member of society, no matter who they are, to be separated from their loved ones, to be forced to migrate from their countries in which they were born, from the society in which they would have wanted to, to coexist in within. So I bring just more than perspective to this. I bring reality. I bring ways of life that should be entailed within this pact and should be taken seriously by our politicians and decision makers and peoples and lovers of peace as entirely as it is.